I want to do a quick map guide to customs. I'm going to try and cover as much as possible in a shorter time as possible. So I'm not wasting your time. You can get straight into raid and get going. If I miss anything, ask me down below in the comments. Here we go. Customs. It's actually a 45 minute raid timer and there's up to 13 players on this map. In terms of PvP, dorms in particular, high level PvP, massive hot zone. After dorms, I would be looking at the new gas station and the old gas station, as well as the fortress as the main hot zones. You've got crack house as well. I'm not going to call out every location. I'm going to try and call out the ones that you need to know. I'll start off on the west. First up, we've got storage. I don't want to make this video too long, so I don't want to cover every single loot spot. Make sure you check out Map Genie so you know exactly which garages to hit. Then we'll move on to Big Red. This place is obvious, Big Red Warehouse. There is some loot around, nothing over the top special. You can get a fair bit of PvP around here early. Next up, we got the river with the main bridge. There's a few different crossing points. If you're crossing early on in the raid, people are going to try and snipe as you cross that river. Next up, we've got Crack House. There's quite a few med spawns. If you go in there, expect PvP. Then we've got construction. Next to that, we've got skeleton. There's not really that much loot around here. There are a couple of quests that go in this area. You can get PvP action around here. I'm going to be saying that a lot on the east side of this map, but you've got to keep your eyes out no matter where you are. Fortress or stronghold. This is a boss spawn, so you can get Rashala spawn here. You can get a fair bit of PvP. Personally, I like this area more than the gas station or dorms. Old gas station, it is an optional extract. There are a couple of areas here that you need to know about for loot. Inside the old gas station on the table, a chance of spawning any item. And also at the giving tree, a chance of spawning any item in the game. And we'll head straight over to new gas station. Rashala can spawn here. There's some loot in the gas station itself, but the main reason people go there is for the boss spawn, to kill Rashala. Shortcut or factory shortcut you can get through using the factory exit key. It takes two uses of that key. But you really want to look up the shortcuts for customs to get over the walls. Warehouse 4. This contains the switch to turn on the ZB013 extract, which is over at Fortress. Let's head north now and we're going to look at the power station or substation. There's some decent loot here. There's a lab key card spawn. There's a couple of weapon box spawns. There's some hidden caches nearby and there's hidden caches all around the northern side of this map. And then finally dorms. I decided to leave this one till last because this is the high value area. This is the place where people that want the high value loot, the marked room in particular, PvP action all the time, they're going to go to dorms. You've got three story and two story. Two story's got some decent safes in. It's got other loot as well. People are more likely to hit three story. Three story's got the marked room on the third floor. Rashala spawns here as well. And if you're looking for PvP, go to dorms. I guarantee you're going to find it. Let's move over to spawns. There's two main spawns on the map, east side and the west side. Again, we'll cover the west side first. Look at the number of spawns in this small location. Be prepared. Your spawn might get pushed early. So my advice, move out of your spawn fairly quickly to somewhere you feel a bit safer. You've also got to deal with getting across that river. And that's not always easy. If you're new to the game, you spawn on the west side of the map. Personally, I recommend hanging around storage, hanging around big red, looting the areas, and then crossing the river. By that time, most of the people that are hanging around on the other side of the river looking for quick kills as people cross, they're going to get fed up. They're going to go do something else. If you spawn at RUF Roadblock, and just outside crack house personally i would head straight into crack house try and pick up that loot once you've done crack house you can push on to fortress and if you're pretty quick you might be able to get in there early nobody else might have gone there there's some decent loot in that fortress area if you spawn up north near smuggler's boat head straight for that three-story dorms try and get that march room early if you get something juicy get straight out the same could be said for the spawns to the east of dorms, but just to the west of the railway. Those two spawns there head straight down to dorms. 
Okay, finally, I'm going to cover all of the rest of the east of this map. Because, basically, just do what you want from here. Now, let's talk about extracts. I'm going to kick things off with the Dorm's Vehicle Extract. It's not always there. It's single use. It's 7,000 rubles. There's a maximum of four players. When you hit the extract, it takes about 60 seconds. Don't hit that vehicle extract and stand next to the vehicle for 60 seconds. You're going to die. I've done it. I've died. It's going to happen. If you spawn on the west side of the map, the extract you're going to have access to is ZB-013, which is located in the fortress or stronghold, old gas station, ZB-1012, and ZB-1011. ZB-1011 is always going to be available. The rest are conditional. ZB-013 requires the electricity to be turned on in warehouse 4. Old gas station requires green flares, and ZB-1012 requires the searchlight on the top of the extract to be on. If you spawn over on the east side of the map, the extracts you're going to have Smuggler's Boat, RUF Roadblock, Trailer Park, and Crossroads. Crossroads and Trailer Park are always available. They're the furthest away. RUF Roadblock requires a searchlight to be on. And Smuggler's Boat requires the campfire to be lit. And there's a small boat there as well. I think that's covered everything I want to cover. If we get more subscribers, I might make a detailed map guide for every map. Right now, I'm just focused on getting a quick map guide out there. So if there's anyone new to the game, they can just head straight in. You know the important locations. You know the kind of map layout and the overview to the map. The kind of hot zones, the less contested zones. And you can get into the action and you can get going on the map. That's my main concern here. If you enjoyed this video, you found it useful, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, drop me a comment down below with your thoughts or any other tips that you've got for other people on this map.